Hey guys, it's Rachel, and today I will be showing you how to make a Momofuku milk bar recipe because you guys really like the crack pie recipe that I made. So today I'm going to be making the corn cookies. Let's dive right in and we're going to start with these ingredients. Start by adding 2 ounces of freeze dried corn into a magic bullet or some kind of food processor. Then blitz up the freeze dried corn until it's nice and powdery. I went to multiple stores in order to find freeze dried corn. The only place that had it was Whole Foods, but they don't have it in the bulk food section. You have to buy it as a separate package. In a separate bowl, go ahead and combine your butter and sugar and then beat that with an electric mixer until it's light and fluffy. Make sure you do beat this for about seven to eight minutes before you add in the egg. Once you've done that, go ahead and add in your one and a half cups of bread flour, portions at a time, making sure you mix thoroughly before adding each new addition. Also add in the quarter cup of corn flour and then your two thirds cup of freeze dried corn powder that you should have produced earlier. Then add in one and a half teaspoons of salt, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda and three quarters teaspoon of baking powder. Once the dough has come together, make sure you stop because you don't want to over mix it. And then using an ice cream scoop, go ahead and scoop out some of the dough, roll it into a ball and then put it onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Wrap up the entire baking sheet with some saran wrap and then refrigerate it for at least an hour. Then spread out the balls of cookie dough evenly into two baking sheets and then go ahead and throw them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 18 minutes. And there you guys have it. That's how you make some perfectly round corn cookies from Momofuku Milk Bar's recipe. These cookies kind of taste like cornbread, but they're a little bit sweeter, and I think they actually taste better than cornbread, dare I say it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure to stay tuned until next week for another video.